asking questions, but one thing mm. just occurred to me while you were talking, and I want to make sure I understand this. I mm. live about a hundred miles from DC and I mm. go up and I talk to an assistant to ex Congress person. Mm. And then a few years later, I talk to that person again, but they're working for somebody different and maybe not the same political party. So Zach, what I'm hearing you say is you are a professional career assistant. You're not a politician. And, mm. and, but, but are you, are you tribal? I mean, would you only work <laughs> for one policy or do people climb the ladder? So I should be very cautious not to be <clears throat> tribal when I'm meeting with you. <laughs> yeah, I would, I will say that I am unequivocally in no uncertain terms, not tribal at all. Um, kind of my, my philosophy with politics is I'll have a policy, I'll have a set of policies. This is what I want to be done. This is how I, what I want to be enacted. And so if, if I've, I would say nowadays doing kind of the, the consulting, but also doing the, the, the kind of the movie pro, or the video production-esque type of stuff on television, it is, it is more than anything, it is an advocate that I had the experience working directly with these individuals. I will tell you that in terms of the, the people that are ear jumping, that happens a lot more often in D.C. And the reason is with national policy, so individuals that are working in the campaign do not have to be from that state in order to work for that campaign. So a lot of folks who are from California are working for an Oregon senator, and a lot of folks from Pennsylvania are working from a Connecticut senator. It could be and Democrat. They jump sides however they please. That doesn't happen as often with the field representatives simply because there's not as many opportunities or a lot more disconnected. And frankly, a lot of the representatives don't want to move to D.C. Okay. So they're they're going to be around for a hot while is what I'm okay. trying to say in a very long story long. <laughs> I hope I answered your question. Please let me know if I did not. Yeah, you did. But from okay. our standpoint, we need to be cautious not to say I'm a lifelong Democrat yeah. or whatever, because yep. I may not be talking to a lifelong Democrat. Yep. I absolutely agree. For sure. Yeah, it's it's good not to be. I, I can tell you that as an individual who I was doing consulting with the Democrats, but I have worked with a lot of Republicans on the side. They like to ask a lot of questions and get a lot of advice, and I love to engage with them. A lot of times they didn't want the formality of a consultation or for me to work with them because they didn't want they didn't want essentially behind the scenes uh, to be labeled that they're working with me, but they do. For example, I was working with John McCain. John McCain, uh, I was working with one of his staffers who had actually helped me a lot uh, throughout kind of navigating the political realm and gaining connections and contacts. Uh, it's kind of ironic for me to say George Bush's old speechwriter as well. I had spoken with him a fair amount of times and and uh, he he's, uh, he's a very interesting guy. At the end of the day though, they are not, behind the scenes nobody actually cares if somebody's a democrat or republican it is only in front of the public that that it really starts to manifest 